Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today I'll be showing you guys the best application for recording screen on low end PCs. But this app is much more than that so make sure you guys watch this video till the end for better results. I hope this helps you out and before moving ahead I would request you to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome guys like this since only 98% of you guys have subscribed and we are really close to 20k subscribers. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright so the star of today's video is Joyoshare VD Kit and the name stands for itself. It is a video kit meaning that this app will provide many more functions and features other than a screen recording software. I will be dividing this video into segments where we will be talking about its features so let's start straight away. Before moving ahead I want to introduce you guys to our longtime sponsor Booyah, a platform where streamers can share their clips and perform live streams. Recently they had this amazing event going on called watch clips to win where you guys can watch clips for 15 minutes a day and win confirmed rewards in game so don't miss out this opportunity go check out booyah links in the description below first is download downloading joyo share video kit is a simple task all you have to do is click the link in the description below and you'll be at a page like this all you need to do is click on this free trial button and then the download will start then the setup will pop right in front of you all you need to do is just I accept it agreement and then download it to the desired location and then the setup will be done. Now looking at the simple UI of the app, you can see that this offers this video converting, recording, repair and other functions. Talking about the video converting tab, you can see that we can convert videos, we can cut videos, we can join videos and we can even compress videos over here. And the good part of this app is that you can compress videos with almost no quality loss. So that's the plus point I'd give to Joyoshare. Moving to the recording panel, you will find screen record and audio recorder as well. Now let's get into how you can record your screen. As you guys can see a simple bar type screen will open right in front of you. And here you guys can see a lot of options. Now the first one is the capture area. And for now it is capturing nothing. As you guys can see the width and height is 0 into 0. So click on this capture area and then it will select the borders of your screen and then you can select it 1920 by 1080 which is the aspect ratio of my screen then on the right side there are audio inputs and over here you can see system audio as well as your microphone input and the best part is that you can adjust the volume of inputs over here so i would like that my system audio should be a little bit lesser than the microphone audio and over here from the drop down you can select multiple microphone which you are using for me i'm going to be using the hyperx quadcast x and this is the microphone i have now also on the right side you can even switch it from video to audio on a single click and then as soon as you click on record the recording will start but what is the quality of recording so over here you'll find something called options just click on that and you'll see basic record options now leave the save to to convert it because you can't change it for some reason but for format i highly recommend you guys to record the video clips at mp4 format and over here, you'll find your codec, your resolution, your frame rate, your bit rate, and your quality if you click on this gear option. So, I highly recommend you guys to leave the codec and resolution as it is. For the frame rate, you guys can select 60 FPS, which is the maximum offered by Joyo Share. For the bit rate, you guys can leave your system specifications down in the comments below, and I'll be giving you guys the best bit rate which you guys can record your gameplays and your screen with minimum lag and actually no lag so yeah and for the quality you guys can leave it to auto and then click on ok and that's how you decide your format now there are some shortcuts for your uh, start and stop capture so you guys can customize your shortcuts as well and then at the last we'll find the watermark over here 
So just click on this and it will show you where you want to add watermark. And this is my watermark. If you guys can see the Bear Fox logo, you can change the scale, you can change the transparency. Everything can be changed from here. And over here, the record time options. I highly recommend you guys don't play with it, leave them unchanged and over here the cursor options suppose you're recording a tutorial video like me you guys can click on show cursor you guys can highlight your cursor and the pointer can look anything like this and for the highlight clicks your pointer will look like this so if you click over anywhere you will see this dot coming right on your pointer so these are self-explanatory things and once you're done with that Coming down to the repair panel, it offers us video repairing as well as watermark wizard. So video repairing is a panel where we can repair broken or corrupted videos in a single click. As well as it offers us to remove watermarks in this. So you can just open up watermark wizard and then I have made a sample file for you guys. So we're going to be removing watermark from the video and I'll just add files over here. And this is the added watermark file. I'll just add the file over here and then so as you guys can see I have a watermark right on the top so I'll just select the watermark area and I'll just click on output and I click yes and that's gonna output the removed watermark and let's see what is the quality of the watermark removing all right so as you guys can see it has blurred the watermark to an extent where it is almost not visible I wouldn't give it 10 out of 10 points but it does a job so you can simply remove watermark without any hesitations and in the other section you will find a media player you'll find an HEIC converter you'll find a live photo converter which converts live photo to GIF now all of them have their specific functions such as media player will play the media you want to play it can play any media HEIC converter which will convert your HEIC files to JPEG or PNG on a single click and also live photo converter which will convert live photos to GIF so these are the features offered by JoyoShare VidiKit in their simple tool. And I believe that the features offered by JoyoShare is the best for beginners and intermediates who are looking for a good recording software compatible with their system. Now we have talked about the features of JoyoShare, let's move to its pricing. Obviously the app offers us a lot of features. so there must be some pricing of the application. So coming to this page, you can buy the subscription or the application as well. So you can get a one month plan at $19.95. You can get a perpetual plan, which is apparently hot because it is a one time purchase. You just have to pay $55.95 for this software and it will be available to you and then you can have a one year plan, which is $39.95. But I believe that perpetual plan is 
good to go you can also see they have a free gift up to 80% off so if you guys go down the link in the description below and buy joyo share you guys can get it at almost 80% off and with all that said we have reached the end of this video i hope this video had helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome videos see you all in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out